हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 6 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर यू कैन आल्सो विजिट आवर वेबसाइट to find out the other chapter from class 10 ml agarwal okay and for the link of the website is in your description box of this video okay so here in sum number 6 a lady holds rupees 1800 rupees 100 shares of a company that pays 15% dividend annually okay so that means here total number of shares the first one is rupees it not rupees it the number of shares so write down here the number of shares that one equal to 1800 now the nominal value of each share or the face value you know that so nominal value of each share that one equal to rupees 100 and that pays 15% dividend annually so that means here rate equal to 15% calculate her annual dividend so first here you have to calculate the annual dividend so first find out the total face value so total face value equal to 100 into 1800 so that one equal to 1840 zeros okay rupees 1840 zeros that is your total face value so first one total dividend that one equal to total face value into 15% so 15 by 100 zero zero cancel out 18 into 15 270 and again 20 so 27000 that one equal to your first answer now next one if C had brought this shares at 40% premium. What percentage return does C get on her investment? So 40% premium. That means above. Okay, above the percentage. You know that one. Uh, so here 40% premium means above par. You know that. So as here 100 rupees 100 is the face value. So as 40% premium so the market value of each share that one equal to 100 plus 40 as here above per that's why here addition so rupees 140 so now the total investment so total investment equal to now rupees 140 into 1800 as here 1800 is the number of shares so that one equal to 252 and 000 okay so now the percentage on his return so you know the formula first write down 27 000 into 100 then divided by 252 and 000 okay 252 000 so that one equal to here 10.7% or 11% approximate okay 10.7% or 11% approximate now next one sum number 7 what sum should a person invest in rupees 25 share selling at rupees 36 to obtain an income of rupees 720 So first here write down the nominal value of each share that one equal to rupees twenty five. Now the market value of each share that one equal to here rupees thirty six. Here the total income, total income equal to it's also given rupees seven twenty. If the dividend declared is twelve percent, also find the percentage return on his income. so here rate equal to 12% so total nominal value that one equal to 100 by 12 into total income and that one equal to rupees 6000 okay so here first you find out the total investment that 
that means what sum should a person invest so you have to find out the total investment so here number of shares that one equal to total nominal value divided by 25 nominal value of each so that one equal to here 240 so number of share equal to 240 so total investment as market value for each share that one equal to 36 so 36 multiply with 240 and that one equal to rupees 8640 as your first answer now number two if the dividend is 12 percent also find the percentage return on his income so here the percentage return you know the formula here 720 into 100 divided by 8640 that is 8 whole 1 by 3 percentage next sum number 8 Ashok invest rupees 26400 on 12% rupees 25 shares of a company. So here investment or total investment, investment equal to rupees 26400. Here rate equal to 12% and rupees 25 share that means here face value of each share, face value of each share that one equal to rupees 25 if he receive a dividend of rupees 2475 so here the total dividend or profit so total dividend equal to here rupees 2475 then find the number of share he bought okay so first here you have to write down the formula of dividend so here the formula of dividend equal to dividend equal to market price or MP or MV you can write down MV also MV of share then into number of share and then into R by 100 so as here dividend equal to 2475 MV of share that one equal to here uh, this is one equal to 25 then here number of share and then r r means here 12 percent so 12 by here 100 okay so number of share equal to 2475 into 100 divided by 25 into 12 so that one equal to 825 that is your first answer now number two the market value of each share so mv of each share that one equal to the total amount 26400 divided by 825 it's rupees 32 that is your second answer now next one sum number nine a man invests rupees 4500 in share of a company which is paying 7.5% dividend if rupees 100 okay if rupees 100 shares are available at the discount of 10% then find the number of share he purchases and then his annual income so first write down here the total investment total investment that one equal to here rupees 4500 okay now the face value so face value of a share or each share that one equal to rupees 100 discount equal to here 10 percent so mv of a share as 10 percent discount so 100 minus 10 that one equal to rupees 90 clear so here the number of shares that one equal to total investment divided by mv and that one equal to 50 as your first answer next you have to find out his annual income so you know the formula for annual income that one equal to 7.5 percent of 50 number of share into 100 that one equal to here 7.5 by 100 into 50 into 100 so 100 100 cancel out 
then 7.5 into 5 and that one equal to here rupees 375 okay so that is your second answer so now the last one some number 10 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here amit kumar invest rupees 36000 is buying rupees 100 share at rupees 20 premium the dividend is 15 percent per annum okay then find out the number of share his yearly dividend and the percentage return on his investment so here the total investment is 36000 face value face value that one equal to here rupees 100 premium equal to here rupees 20 okay and dividend rate that one equal to 15 percent so first write down number of shares that one equal to 36000 as here rupees 20 premium so that means market value equal to 100 plus 20 it's 120 so divided by 120 that one equal to 300 as your first answer number two the yearly dividend so here dividend equal to 15 percent that means 15 by 100 into here the face value is 100 and total number of share equal to 300 so 100 into 300 100 100 cancel out rupees 4500 second answer last one percentage return so here 4500 divided by total investment into 100 then again 0 0 cancel out again 0 cancel out so 450 by 36 that means 12.5 percent as your answer 